Hi guys, in this video, I will guide you on how to solve USB OTG not working on Android. So if you have a USB OTG device just like this one or a pen drive and anytime you connect it to your Android phone, it does not show on the Android phone or there is actually no indication that it is working with your Android phone. Then in this video, I'm going to be showing you four solutions that would help you fix this problem. And if you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now for the first solution, what you want to do is to head over to the settings of your Android. So open up the settings app. Now from the settings, you want to go ahead and locate the about phones option just go ahead and tap on that now scroll down until you find the android build or os version in the case of my redmi device in some android phones also instead of os version you're going to see the build number then proceed to tap on it for about seven times after seven times you're going to see that you're now a developer and you might be required to enter your phone's password i'll just go ahead and enter mine now once you enter your password you're going to see that developer options will now be enabled in some android phones you should be able to find the developer options from over here if you do not find it come out of this and then locate the additional settings from over here and then just tap on additional settings and then from the bottom you should be able to now find the developer options go ahead and tap on developer options and then from here you just want to go ahead and then scroll down until you find the default usb configuration option so just scroll down and then under networking you're going to just find the default usb configuration option over here tap on that as well and then make sure you set it to file transfer another thing you want to do is to come out of this option and then just proceed to look for usb debugging so scroll over to the top and you should be able to find usb debugging under debugging over here go ahead and tap on that and make sure you also enable that option now this is just some security check so i'm just going to check this and then click on ok now once usb debugging and file transfer has been enabled the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and restart your android so just go ahead and turn off your device and then just restart it or reboot it okay so i've been able to restart my device and i'm just going to go back and plug back my usb otg device again and then see if it is going to work now you can literally see it now works but if this solution does not work out for you another thing you want to try is to make sure that your usb drive or your pen drive is actually on the recommended format so if your usb drive or your pen drive is not on the recommended format you might have to format it so that your android device will be able to accept it now some android phones actually gives you the option to format your usb drive or your pen drive into a recommended format that the phone can accept and all you just have to do is to swipe down through the notification center and you're going to see the option to format it but if you do not see that option on your own device all you just have to do is to remove your usb drive or your pen drive and then connect it to any laptop or pc right click on your usb drive and then format it to ms dos fat at 32 once you're done you can come back and then just connect it to your otg device again connect it to your android device and now you should be able to see your usb drive or your pen drive working properly on your android the final step you want to take is to actually check if your usb drive is good so sometimes the problem might actually be from your usb drive and all you just have to do is to make sure you clean it up also make sure that your otg device is actually good as well so after cleaning up your usb otg go ahead and connect it to any other android phone and see if it works if it actually works then the problem might just be from your own android phone and again that will be all on today's video let me know if this video was helpful guys